Hey, hey guys, a very short video for you today. So how to easily and quickly assemble the security protection stuff for your uh, PV array. That's very simple. You can just get the already pre-existing box. Uh, like, I mean, the one that are like really certified. If you need the certified, like you got, you need, they provide you whatever required, like stickers, uh, any, any, anywhere. I mean, because they are. And uh, the, the thing is that I have here to compare two different brands. One is this one, Thomson, and the other one is this one, EARU Electric. Uh, so, like, the only difference is this one is for 600 volt and this one is for 1000. Uh, both of the manufacturers have got, like, 600 and 1000 volts. But, I mean, I literally just needed this box and I decided why not to go and try a different brand to see if there is any difference because... This brand, generally, in brand, brand, like whatever, like similar products you will compare, this brand is normally like a few bucks cheaper. Uh, that's what I find in prices. And let's compare them directly to see if there is actually any difference of, or if there is probably any, there is probably any, um, or there, there probably isn't any difference. So like we can see if you, if it's worth paying more for the kind of better brand. First of all, External looks, so uh, you see there are some stickers here. There are no stickers here, absolutely. So, like, gas or open and then gas, whatever. But for the non-knowledgeable non user, I mean, this is very, very convenient and this is very good. I mean, here, I, I, I'm missing the cup, but it, it, it exists. It's present. I just, like, unscrewed it and left it in my garage, so whatever. Let's consider that this one looks the same as this one. Anyways, here we have like, let's say, plus and minus outputs, the ground cable, and we have here the valve, but here we don't. That's the first difference. That's the second difference, right? So stickers, uh, valve for ventilation. Then let's so let me open it up, and I will show you the next one because it's very easy to extinguishable. Uh, don't look at the switches because like this same switch you will get in this one if you will get for the, the box for 1000 volts so if this one will be for 600 it will have the circuit breaker of, of this type and if this one would have been 1000 volts it would have had the switch exactly like this looking like, like this so next both are kind of um, so to say all weather conditions all weather protection but this one Thompson, I think is in my in my opinion in this case is so much better. Uh, if you will try to squeeze and press the lock, it will require some significant force to be applied because well I, I haven't even done this yet. Come on, yeah, right now it clicked. What's the difference? Because uh, and let me show you how it clicks here. Very easy, no force. The difference is in this kind of uh, in this thing. Here, it is really heavy. It is really heavy duty, and I mean, it will block anything from going into, literally uh, blocking the passage and sealing it nicely and completely. And here, that's a very different thing. Take a look. I mean, it's nothing. It's just like, shows that it is there. <laughs> and that's my conclusion. So, I mean, that, that's the difference. That's the first thing where the, the few box are, have, been, have been actually saved in this box. Uh, and I mean, if for internal use, it's absolutely okay. I'm using this one internally, so I don't care literally what is it is. But if you plan to use your box externally, then I would definitely use this one because of the vent and because of the ceiling. So, I mean, that's a huge difference. Absolutely huge. Uh, let me undo this and I will show you what's inside. So, pants off. Let's see what's underneath, under the pants. Um... It is clearly visible that from the first side, both look very okay, right? But there are tiny differences. So first of all, let me just like show you how the MC4 connectors are uh, situated and located. I mean, here, the cable goes nicely and smoothly its desired way. Here as well. But I mean, what's this? What's this? Literally? It wobbles and wiggles. I mean, it, 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 nobody will do this like that. Do it like this. But I mean, couldn't you have made it like or shorter or longer to make it more nicely and neatly go inside? I mean, seriously, what kind of savings are you doing? Uh, or no savings? I don't know. This is something that I don't like, and I will have to redo this. Next, the thing, the difference is that here we have the one clamp that blocks actually moving from left to the right on this side. But where is the one on the right side? 
There is no one. I believe they thought that probably this kind of uh, earth ground and stuff that is connecting to the Din Rail is actually doing this, but I mean, it's not. What Thompson did is one and another one and then the ground, right? Same, same one, same one that connects to the Din Rail. So absolutely, I mean, here is the connection. Here is the, the place where they connect. And I mean, uh, like these tiny things make difference sometimes. But more of the stuff is covered here. You see, this connection is very, very good. This one as well. And here is all okay. But let's go to the other side and check what's inside. What? Seriously? Two and in vertical position, not in horizontal like it desired to be. Seriously, guys. Who does this? I mean, this is this is a huge drawback for me. I mean, I know I have to redo this, and I will have to redo this, and I will redo this. But seriously, for those of you who want to do plug and play, I cannot recommend this stuff because, like, this, in my opinion, does not match any standards. This is not good. This is not safe, even. So, like, that's the difference. I mean, you can get this box, but uh, literally you have to understand these tiny things uh, that differ. And if they don't matter for you and you can fix them, just go for it. Well, you will save a couple of bucks, right? Uh, I haven't told you anything about the fuses yet. So, first of all, let me show you that in terms of, well, specifically, I have ordered the 20 amp. That's why I have 20 amp. I could have had 15 if I would have ordered it, literally, but... Uh, the fuse number one, the positive one, has got this metal stuff that is actually the, uh, let me show it to you, that is actually the, uh, how to say, visual indicator uh, that shows if the, if the fuse is working or, or if it's not. I mean, if it will turn, turn the color, it, it will be absolutely different. On the negative one, on the negative fuse, they use the standard holder that doesn't have the thing, and I mean, they saved a couple of sense on this uh but here on contra in contrary like the fuse that i have ordered is the 15 amp one right exactly and here in contrary they use both ones with the indicators right you see so like that's that's the thing in favor to uh to this box and guys just don't get confused with the 32 amp reading here it never actually matches you have to always check what's inside the fuse because i mean this amperage this amperage value is for the fuse holder itself not for the fuse so you always have to check the fuse it it, it, it like i mean it refers to whatever manufacturer not specifically to this one because here as well they say 32 amps that's the rating of the fuse holder not the not the fuse itself and let's check one more thing let's check the details of the surge protections thoroughly if they differ if they don't i don't see too much too much of a difference uh but like that's not what that's not what the case is here both have the same combination but i mean this one oh, come on one more thing that i'm really a little bit confused of i mean i guess that if you go into one and not into three and in five and not into seven you have to go out of two and six and not out of four and eight but i mean it would have been so much nicer and better or probably it doesn't matter because i mean here they have the uh, the connection plate on this side for some reason but on this side i don't see any so i am not aware so i will have to probably literally check where does the voltage come to uh, and see if it gets only to two and six or maybe to two and four simultaneously from the uh like i'm not aware of that yet so I will have to double and triple check that. Uh, let me tell you this. I will give you the links to all of them, to all of the brands uh, and to all of the different types of boxes. Uh, 600, 1000, double, single uh, of tons and of this EIRU. And there is one more brand called Gaia. They also do the same stuff. They, they produce and I have noticed them a lot across AliExpress. So I will give you the link to that one as well. So you will have the fullest and like the most detailed comparison, uh, what you can get and what you can do. But so far, my claim is this. You can, if you want the plug and play solution, go for this one. For this brand, I mean, literally any box will do. 
if you want to use it outside, use this brand. Uh, if you know, if you want to save some bucks and you know how to fix this kind of uh, stuff like he here and here, you're absolutely okay to use the cheaper version. No, no issues with that. Uh, so that's that's my claim and that's my conclusion from what I've seen today and I hope you will also like uh, confirm with me. Uh, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments uh, and uh, well, we'll see you later. We will have a lot of stuff to to test and check later on.